Okay, thanks for watching this video. This is a stereographic projector. It is comprised of the projector. These are two different projectors. You'll see in a moment what that's all about. And this is the lamp. The lamp is comprised of a heat sink, a 10 watt LED lamp, pretty intense, driven by a 12 volt, 1 amp power supply. Here's the assembled unit, the heat sink, the lamp, the LED lamp mounted onto the heat sink, and the power cable coming over to the power supply. We need a single source lamp, not a, a big lamp, but a single point lamp that spreads light from a central point out into the projector, which is this ball of plastic, hollow ball, as you can see, and um, you can even see some information on there. If you hold it up to the right, uh, the light just just so. So these are two different images designed to print in plastic. You can see how the plastic threads on the base thread onto the image like so onto the uh, projector and then you hold the projector like this and shine it on the ceiling or on the wall whatever and I'll show you what the images look like when they're completed this is not my design I printed these on my 3d printer but this is a rather new technology that's being printed on 3d printers and uh, it's a variation on a theme of the lithographs that I, that I printed um, and that you have seen before of photographs that are converted to a 3D piece of plastic, uh, printed on a piece of plastic. And this one was a failed print, as you can see. But the final product is me and my grandfather. 50 years ago or more and in any case this project is a development of that technology where an image is wrapped around a sphere and then light is projected through it in this case each one of these holes represents a pixel for those of you that are familiar with that terminology so different size pixels and the, the open pixels are bright light and the tiny pixels are dim light. And then in the absence of pixels or the absence of holes um, are dark spots. So you've got a certain resolution, a gradation, and you can look at the resolution. You could probably count the, the resolution um, if you looked carefully at the different sizes of holes and their position. So this dome is a photograph it's like taking a photograph and wrapping it over a dome and the end result then is projected onto a flat surface and you'll see in a moment what it looks like And now we're going to switch the uh, projectors. And once again project this new image on the wall. Hopefully you'll recognize it.
and it says his master's voice and I think that's a USA trademark or something there in the middle and there's Nipper and the RCA Victor trademark.